With only two events remaining in the 2014 season, the Ontario Performance Rally Championship returned to the spiritual home of Canadian motorsport for the second time this year. The high-speed forests of Western Quebec played host to the penultimate round of the series, Rally Daffy. Rally Daffy is presented by Old School Motorsports. Alan Ryle's second place points at the Galway Cavendish Forest Rally brought him to Daffy with a narrow hold on first place in the overall standings, but with both Andrew Kulikowski and Kurt Field close behind, the veteran driver couldn't afford to let his guard down. A string of class wins also had Kulikowski hot on the heels of Thiel in two-wheel drive, with both drivers laying out of reach for third place Gary Sutherland. In a break from its traditional two-day format, the 2014 edition of Davey was shortened to just a single day of competition for the OPRC. The shorter stage mileage would be no less of a challenge though, with the Ontario team still facing off against the full field of their national counterparts. With his shot at the overall championship fading, Can Jam Motorsports driver Martin Donnelly sought to put a season of misfortune behind him. Along with co-driver Angela Costner, the Irish driver used a warm-up day among the national competitors to his advantage, starting the day with a string of dominant stage wins. Also benefiting from the extra day of stages, Martin Walter and Ferdinand Trotmansdorf were able to start the regional portion of the rally having regained their usual rhythm after nearly seven months away from the competition. The pair took a cautious approach through the morning loop, opting to save their 23-year-old rear-wheel drive Nissan for the afternoon's high-speed roads. Despite being his first entry to the event, Andrew Kulikowski set a blistering pace, relying heavily on co-driver Kelly Matthews' experience with the Utaway roads. The juggernaut motorsports team traded two-wheel drive stage wins with Walter and Trotmansdorf throughout the day, eventually edging the local pair by just seven seconds to lock up second place on the overall podium. It took a little getting used to. There's a lot of uh, extremely fast sections of this rally that we just don't have in Ontario. Um, half kilometer straights where we're topping out the car literally almost every stage. We had an exhaust issue later in the day on second last leg. Uh, down on power fairly substantially, so it, uh, we were worried it was going to cost us. Did some work at service and gained some of that back. So uh, We absolutely have a chance to take the overall championship for Ontario, OPRC, and also uh, two-wheel drive, so we're going to go basically fly out like we always do at Tall Pines. Um, no holding back, no letting up. We want to win uh, competitively, not just by default. So. Desperate to maintain his lead in the two-wheel drive standings, Kurt Thiel found himself plagued with alternator issues throughout the day, leaving him barely able to complete the transit between stages. A hasty replacement at the midday service break would allow him and co-driver Russell Norton to crawl to the finish. The penalties incurred throughout the day would see them finish a distant fourth in the class standings. Chris Krepsky and Sebastian Richard would take the final step on the two-wheel drive podium, marking their first finish at their home event after a disastrous run in 2013. Mm -hmm. 
also looking to hold on to their championship lead, Alan Ryle and Bruce Leonard kept a steady pace to keep themselves in a point-scoring position. The pair would find themselves in reach of the podium towards the end, but clutch issues forced them to settle just shy in fourth, while still locking up the 2014 production class title. But no one would be able to catch Martin Donnelly. Finally overcoming the demons that had plagued him all year, the former series champion put in a flawless performance, winning all 13 stages of the rally. Yeah, it was a pretty good day. We, uh, we got up bright and early this morning, made it up in the rain. We were a little nervous and concerned about how much rain was falling and what the condition of the stages were going to be like. But you know what, it was like... Uh, when we went to uh, Black Bear this year, it woke up with the same thing with a torrential downpour and we had our best rally ever until we had a small issue during the day. But all in all, good day, good morning, um, good notes. We really worked hard on our notes this weekend, but really we concentrated hard on, on uh, having factors to sort of join everything together. So it was easier for Angela to read the notes and easier for me to interpret them as well. And again, good job with Can Jam. We had the right choice of tires when we needed them and the car prepped the way I wanted it. So the only thing I had I needed today was four tie straps on the uh, on the front bumper. So all in all, it was a good day for us. You know, we've had a tough year. Small things, you know what I mean. Me hitting a gate at Channel probably a first, and then you know hitting a tree at uh, at Galway and a little time and error that we had at Black Bear. Yeah, it was it was a tough year for us. We needed a, a sort of a win to get back into contention again, and and again to build our confidence. So today was a, was definitely a, a good event for us as far as that goes. The win keeps Donnelly's championship hopes alive, while Alan Ryle's fourth place points are enough to keep him just a single point ahead of Kulikowski in second. Andrew Kulikowski's win in two-wheel drive allows him to overtake Kurt Thiel for the first time this season. Second place points are enough for Martin Walter to move into third overall, though still well behind the leaders. After nearly a three-month break, the championship returns for its finale in late November at the Rally of the Tall Pines. With notoriously unpredictable weather and no shortage of challengers looking to play spoiler, the event provides the ultimate final test for the 2014 season.